back sa ating discussion, ngayon ay problem 5 na tayo. Obtain the equivalent resistance RAP for the circuit in figure 2.52 and use it to find current. So, ito lang ang given. Kinopy ko na yung figure para sa ating uh, pagre-redraw ng ating circuit. Kung mapapansin nyo, uh, complex yung ating given circuit. Meron tayong 30 ohms dito, meron tayong 10, 20, and then meron tayong branch sa gitna ng dalawang parallel branch natin and ang source natin is 120 volts. So, ang total current natin is designated na I. So, kapag nakuha natin yung uh, resistance AB, ibig sabihin that is the equivalent resistance nitong side na to, ito, itong side na to, equivalent resistance ng side na yan, that is R equivalent or yun yung R A sub B natin. R sub AB. Uh, makukuha na natin yung ating current kasi magkakaroon tayo ng equivalent circuit. Okay, nandiyan yung source natin, meron tayong RAB, and then yung total current ay. So, kailangan muna natin hanapin talaga yung equivalent resistance ng ating circuit. Ngayon, kung i-analyze natin yung given circuit, kung i-analyze natin siya, uh, again, magsisimula tayo sa right side, dito sa dulo. 30, hindi natin pwedeng iparalel ka agad kay 10 at saka 20. So, kunin yung series ng 10 and 20. Kasi pa para kay 30. Hindi pwede yun. Hindi allowed. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong branch circuit na nakanode dito sa end. So, ito, itong 12.5, 10 at saka 5, they are, yan ay delta connection yan eh. Delta connection. Okay? Delta connection siyang ganyan. So, we can convert that into Y. Okay? Pwede tayong maglagay ng Y dito, ayan so convert natin ng y ayan meron tayong r, let's say r a to r b ok, and this is r c i-zoom na muna natin so pwede natin lagyan ng ok r sub b and r c ayan so, ito yung delta natin. Ayan yung delta connection natin. Itong 12.5 kay 5 kay 10. Okay, pwede natin siyang i-convert ng y para uh, ang magiging itsura niya. Okay, bibigyan na natin ng preview. Ayan. So, kapag natanggal ito, itong 12.5 at 10 and 5 magiging uh, ganito na yung itsura ng ating circuit. So, mas simplified siya. Ang mangyayari ay is series na lang natin si R sub B at saka si 15 ohms. Okay? And then series din si R sub C at saka si 20 ohm resistor. So, kapag ito naging 1 siya, okay, pwede natin siyang i-series. Ayan yung simplified form. So, kapag naging isa yan, naging isa din tong sa kabilang branch, uh, series din yon, Yung equivalent na yon, magsa-series siya sa R sub A. Parang ganito. Ayan. So, kunin na nung series nito and this one. And then parallel yung sagot natin for this one at saka itong series dito. And then makukuha na yung R sub G. Okay? Parallel yung dalawang total dito at saka dito. And then si R sub A and R sub G are series. So, series mo lang siya and then kunin mo yung uh, parallel niya. Equivalent uh, resistance. Nakaparallel niya si 30. And makukuha na natin yung simplified na circuit na isa lang yung load in terms of REB given ang source and then makukuha na natin yung I. So, balikan natin muna lahat. Okay, punta tayo dun sa umpisa. Ayan. So, yun ang gagawin natin. Kunin muna natin yung equivalent. Okay. So, pwede ko na rin pakita yung next. Ayan. Pwede na natin pakita yan. Una, kunin muna natin yung RA, RB, and RC in terms of or using the um, delta to y transformation equation natin. Ang equation natin doon, it states that yung isang element sa so y uh, branch natin is equivalent to uh, yung quotient ng alin, yung katabi or adjacent resistor. So, halimbawa, hinahanap natin si Ra, yung katabi. Okay? Ra, yung katabi. R, 12.5 at saka sa times 10, divided by yung total ng tatlo. So, it's better na kunin muna natin yung R total. So, R delta, lalagay ko na lang ganyan. So, 12.5 plus 5 plus 10. Ayan. So, that is equivalent. This is in ohms. So, that is equivalent in 27.5 ohms. 
Okay. And then after that, kunin na natin si R sub A. So, R sub A is equal to yung adjacent. Okay? Product ng adjacent resistance. So, in ohms na lahat din kahit hindi ko nalagay yung ating units. So, uh, pwedeng lagay nyo 12.5 plus 5 plus 10 or you can write as 27.5. Okay. So, that is equivalent to 4.5454 ohms. Then, R sub B. So, R sub B ito, yung adjacent side, uh, adjacent um, resistance niya ay 12.5 ulit times 5 divided by 27.5. So, that is 2.2727. So, this is 2.2727. Okay, and then R sub C is yung adjacent niya, 10 times 5 over 27.5. So, equals 1.8182. Okay, this is in ohms. So, eto na yung mga value niyan. Ngayon, pwede natin uh, palitan niyan yung mas simple. Pwede na natin i-stretch. So, from here, Ayan, pwede mo kasing i-stretch yung part na to. Ayan. Pwede mong i-stretch ito. Isa lang kasi yan. Pwede mong i-stretch yan. Yung isa lang siya. Okay? Pwede mong gawin yun. Simplify mo yung circuit para mas madali siyang intindihan. So, ayan siya. Ngayon, si RB at saka si 15, series yun. Plus si RC and R20, series din yun. So, pwede nating pangalanan. Let's say this is ito. Pangalanan natin na CD. RD or RE. Okay, RD. Let's say A, B, C, D. RD tapos to RE. RE. Ayan, pwede natin pangalanan. Kaya huwag na natin i-redraw at least dito sa ano natin solution. Naka-sketch na siya. So, si RD okay, is equivalent to ano yung value nun? Yung RB plus 5 ohm. So, kahit huwag mo na i-write, andito naman si RB. So, that is equivalent to, ang RD natin is, so, 15 plus 2.27, um, 27, 27, so, 17.27, 27. Okay, ano pa, yung R, RE, so, this is RE, no, RE yun, hindi halata, so, this is R sub E, ayan. So, yung R sub E natin, R sub E, so R sub E is equal to, ano yung RC natin? RC natin is 1.8181 plus 20. Okay, so R sub C is, ilan yun? 21.8182 ohms. Okay, nakuha na natin. So, pwede mo nang ikunin yung parallel nun. Si R, ito kasi, si R, Si RD, parallel din, parallel kasi siya kay R, RE. So, pwede mo kunin yung equivalent niyan. So, ano ni EF? So, let's say RF. Okay? RF. RF. Ayan. Okay. So, R sub F is RD. Ano yung RD natin? 17.2727 multiplied by 21.81 8, 2. Okay. Divided by yung sum nito. Twenty one Okay. That is equivalent to 9.6406. So, RF is 9.6406 ops. Ayan. So, ito na yung circuit natin, bali not. Okay, ito. Okay. So, ito, ito ang ating equivalent ni RD and RE. So, that is RF. Okay. RF, which is, so, palitan natin ng notation. Ito. Okay, palitan lang natin siya. Ito tayo. So, ito ay R sub F. Ayan. 
Mas balik tayo dyan. So, ang RF natin is 9.6406. Ngayon, si RF ay series kay RA. So, R... EFG. Let's say RG. So, again, uli natin. EFG. So, ito is... Let's say this is RG. Ayan. Si RG ngayon, R sub G is... So, si R sub G ngayon is yung R sub F natin. 9.6406 plus yung R sub A. Ano ba yung R sub A natin? Yung 22 point... Ayan. 4 point... Ito to. 4.5454. Okay. 4.5454. So, R sub G is equivalent to 14.1860. Ayan. Now, yung R sub G natin, okay, is parallel to. Okay, parallel to yung last natin. Parallel kay 30 ohms. So, R sub G parallel kay 30 ohms. So, ano equivalent nun? Nung RAB, ito na yung total resistance bali ng circuit natin. So, yung total resistance is... 14.1860 times 30 divided by 14.1860 plus 30. So, RAB is equivalent to 9.6316 ohms. So, yun na yung ating equivalent resistance AB, RAB. So, ito na yun. Now, um, since nakuha na natin ito, kukunin na ngayon natin yung ating total current. So, I is equal to uh, V source over yung RAB natin. So, yung source natin is 120 volts over RAB, 9.6316 ohms. So, I natin is equivalent to 12.4590 ampere. Ayan, pwede na natin i-highlight yung mga sagot. Ang mga final answer natin is RAB and which is 9.6316 and current of 12.4590 ampere.